are a new subscriber, welcome and thank you for coming and being with me and joining our family. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for always coming through, always commenting, liking, and supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. And I do try to make sure that I leave you a comment and reply to whatever it is that you say and go support you on your channel as well. Again, thank you to everyone. I really, really appreciate it. Today's video is the May mortgage update, guys. So I didn't do one for April. Did I do one for April? I don't know. I, I wasn't really on here on April. So I don't think I did one or I think I may have said something about it. Anyway, you'll see what we got going on for April here and also for May. So I want to go ahead and give an update because we are still continuing to aggressively pay our mortgage down. Our goal is to have our mortgage paid off by December 2022. If I could speed that up even more to next year, July or August 2022, I will be super happy. December 2022 is actually like really a stretch goal for us. Per on the paper, it's not supposed to be paid off until about September time frame 2023. But I'm really trying to hit this hard. I'm really going to step up my game as far as like things to bring in extra money and just cutting expenses so that that money can go towards our mortgage. I'm working summer school, which I really don't want to do because guess what y'all? I'm tired. <laughs> it's been one heck of a year and honestly, I am tapped out, burnt out, but there is extra money for working summer school. And so I'm going to do it this year to get those extra funds and be able to put more towards the mortgage but next year i'm hoping that some of the side hustles and things that i do will really just pop off not hoping i'm going to manifest it that it will pop off so that i don't have to work summer school or if i want to work summer school it's it's pretty much optional and not a i have to in order to get this mortgage paid off type thing okay but anyway that's neither here nor there i'm grateful for any type of employment that I have or any type of income that comes in so I don't want to you know mistaken it and make it seem like I'm not grateful I'm not thankful I am I'm very grateful I'm very thankful for whatever comes into our household and is brought into our financial journey okay but I'm going to go ahead and share with you all how we're doing for May and just kind of tell you where we're at okay so as you all can see here, and I'm just going to say that I'm not going to recap really like April or whatnot, because I think I may have already done that. I don't know, guys. Everything has been a blur since April. But anyway, we ended off April at $67,709.79. That was our balance. So for May, we made four payments. Normally, you all know that I put the payments in as I go along, but... I'm trying not to have this video be too long-winded or whatnot. Trying to get straight to the point like Miss Carolyn Budgets. She be doing those videos up under five minutes. I'm trying to get like her with some of my videos. For May 1st, we had our regular principal payment that came out. And that was $629.96 as you can see right here. That left our balance to be $67,079.83. On May 10th. I made a principal payment of $200. That brought us down to $66,879.83. And then on May 11th, I made another principal payment of $1,250. That brought our balance down to $65,629.83. And then I made one additional payment on May 21st, which was unexpected. I had an eBay sale, so that money automatically was designated for the mortgage, or that's where I was pretty much going to put it towards. So with our balance being at the $65,629.83, I applied $14 payment to it. And that has now brought us down to $65,615.83. That is where we are leaving off for the month of May. I'm trying to get the balance down to at least 50k by December 31st of this year. If I can get it to 45, even better, all right? 
So as you see here, we've got some notes down here. It says the goal is to pay $1,500 minimum each month. I've been doing around about $1,450 to $1,500. But again, with the summer school money, that'll, that will make up for any type of deficit that we had not done from January through July. Because I don't think I get the first check for the summer school until July time frame, I believe. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly. I got to get all the details. But anyway, we have here debt free goal, December 2022. And again, we are claiming this. We do not care what the schedule states. And I put a little, just a little biblical scripture qu quote here. Who the Father sets free is free indeed. And that's John 8 36. I know it's not really like pertaining to this, but I feel like. Once we get this mortgage paid off, we will indeed be set free. I cannot wait, guys. It's This is like our last debt, our only debt, and it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's a mortgage. It's it's a lot, you know. And so we really started getting serious about our payoff journey last February when we finally finished our 6-month emergency fund. It's not sexy, it's not cute. It's tiring at times. A lot of times I want to spend that $1,500 per month on whatever it is that, you know, we want to spend it on, you know, we want to live, you know, and I mean, it's hard. It's not easy whatsoever shelling out that type of money every month or more to the mortgage. But I know in the end it is absolutely going to be worth it. And we're so ready to be totally financially free. I think what I'll do is I'll do a separate video maybe like mid-June about where we started at as far as our mortgage and how we got to this point right here just to give you all like a little bit of a backstory. Our amortization schedule and this is the one that we received when we refinanced back in 2016. So because we're at $65,000. $615.83. We now can color all the way to this line where it states we're at the point of we're paid up to December 2023. Guys, I love that. We are trucking right along here. This mortgage was not supposed to be paid off until 2031. So literally, I guess with the December 2022 we will have this mortgage paid off like 15, 16 years early because we originally did a 30 year loan. So I'm trying to figure out like, I guess, yeah, we did an originally 30 year loan on this and then refinanced to a 15 year in 2016, which automatically cut like seven years or something like that off. And so now we're aggressively paying it so that we're not going all the way to 2031. Here we've got our income invaders visual uh, and this chart came from debtfreecharts.com as well as this chart right here created by Heidi Heidi Nash okay this was free this was free when I got it like a couple years ago I believe now it's like a dollar which honestly that's nothing but um, I do understand that some people don't want to pay a dollar for a chart or whatnot, someone actually commented. It was like, but you gotta pay for it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, can't argue with you there, okay? You know, everybody puts their money where they feel uh, that it's worth it. But anyway, so my word for the year is challenge. And so that is exactly what we are doing. We are challenging ourselves with our mortgage and applying more to it as well as I'm challenging myself in other ways personally for my life. So I felt like this was a great word. And so at the beginning of the year, we started at $75,899.87. And each little invader is $309. As you can see here, I put the end of the year goal is at $45,000, which is the stretch goal, okay? So, Today, we get to color on up to right here because we pay down about 33 or we're knocking out 33 of these little guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Guys, don't you all just love a good visual? 
a good visual chart like isn't it so motivating and it will truly be a celebration when we get this mortgage paid off i'm trying to figure out and think of the first place that we're going to travel or what we're going to do as far as travel like it's going to have to be big as far as the vacation because we will totally be able to afford it totally be able to afford it no worries whatsoever we can splurge we don't have to nickel and dime it well let me stop here because y'all know i'm all about some sales and some discounts and stuff like that so i'm still going to be on my looking for the discount codes and all that stuff so i'm going to go ahead and color in this visual right here as well i love this house guys we have made so much progress so much progress we are now able to color in up to this line right here so excited we are are we at the halfway point oh we're more than halfway right or we just crossed over the halfway yep so by the end of this year we should be around this mark right here almost up to the roof guys almost up to the roof or even better definitely right here up to the roof that's where i would like to be that's where i would like to be Alright guys, that is the mortgage update for May. That is how we're coming along. That is what we have applied. I'm hoping and praying that we can even maybe double the amount that we applied from January through May in June and July and possibly August as well hoping that we can double that amount and really get this knocked down all right guys if you happen to enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a like if you happen to enjoy any of the videos on my channel feel free to go ahead and subscribe and hit that all notification so that you don't miss any type of upload that i provide and go ahead and leave me a comment below how are you doing the first half of the year with your debt whatever it may be whether it's your mortgage whether it's your credit card whether it's your student loan whatever it is maybe you got to pay a loan back to somebody or whatever to, you know maybe it's not something where it's with an institution but where you're paying it back to someone how are you doing are you knocking it down is your first half of the year going exactly how you want it to you know what plans do you you do you have to switch it up all right guys until the next video bye